Now let's talk about Mafia 3. And the latest hell was who gives a damn. It was good. I saw a lot of the reviews saying they hated it and that's garbage and I don't care. It's a good game. And yeah, it's kind of like uh, the GTA mode and stuff, but who cares? I just found that I could have got the, the pre order bonus and didn't know it. You know what? I'm missing that. Just could have got it for free and didn't pay that no attention. Oh well. <coughs> but yeah, it's a good game. And uh, the Lincoln Clay thing kind of reminds you of Rambo. The way he, he, wait, the way he went after Marcano and stuff. That was rugged. And then the, the sneak attacks and stuff and trying to get the people's attention. That crap was funny as hell. Dude starts whistling. <whistles> Somebody there? <whistles> we in the shit now. And the guy reaches for his pistol and turns, comes around the corner and gets taken out. And the one dude's like, whistles again. <whistles> his dude's like, what the fuck was that? And he's like, I feel good. I feel bad about that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. And then the, the bosses and the captains are good. And the captains, oh man, I wouldn't suggest. Yeah, unless you got your Devito in, in in your full health packs and everything, I would not be turning on uh, Cassandra or or Vito. Matter of fact, because because Vito's got. Uh, the squad, and then uh, Cassandra, she's got the uh, the weapons, uh, whatever that guy's name is. And I don't know about being out, being stuck out there, and the guy's like, sorry, man, I can't do it, and no weapons out there. And, and, yeah, because that first time, oh, man, you turn on Cassandra, or, or if you leave them to hang, they'll get angry with you. Now, Burke wasn't that bad, but uh, Cassandra and Vito, oh, boy. About being stuck out there, and don't forget to save the the uh, the money on the game, cause oh boy, having nothing left out there. Oh, about um, you have like seventy thousand in the game, then turn around and get killed, and it goes down to like thirty something. Or no, 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 no. <clears throat> yeah, played it a few times. It's good, and put the download. The, uh, whatever that other mission is, faster baby. And I think it's like two more missions, but bonus missions coming out. Probably like no, the next one probably won't be to like, hmm, <sighs> won't be to like summer or something. That's the next one, probably. <clears throat> but yeah, oh, and the new the new chick is rough. She's. Uh, she she kicked Cassandra's ass. Uh, what is this woman's name? Um, uh, Roxanne or Roxy Lugo. She, she, she beat her ass, literally. Play get some new weapons and stuff. New we <coughs> weapons pack. <coughs> but, uh, what else? The only part that's that's, that's annoying. Our sickness in the beginning, you have um, the weapons. You have the, the, uh, the one little pistol, and that's it. And in the Haitian camp, and that, and all you get is like two health packs, and you, you got to stay hidden. That is rough. And then when you get to uh, what's that level? Well, you're at the amusement park thing. It's all in the darkness. Oh boy, yes, it's in the dark. Rugged getting Remy or not Remy. Um Richie. Yeah, Richie just said the other guy. And um he's all, all the way to the amusement park. And then when you finish the amusement park, I don't know about uh taking the boat in the water and seeing all the houses underneath water. That mess is crazy, the graphics, how they put that together. I don't know about the houses submerged in the water. That's rugged and terrible. It, that mess looks real. And then uh, back to the graphics. 
the gators in the water looking real uh, all you see is a, uh, a pair of eyeballs looking at you <laughs> that's, that's it so when I got bit that time I jumped up like, whoa I think this came from out of nowhere took the man into the water and everything like the real crocodile or uh, crocodile alligator That, uh, that crap was crazy. And there, then there's some glitches in the game. The game will act up. I know that's probably why people got mad at the game. Because uh, I guess it was like a week or well, last week or two weeks ago. I had to go back to the bayou. That's not the, the driving thing is annoying. That part is annoying. I agree. I had to go back to the bayou. And we're coming back from there, the car went underneath the the ground or something and it got stuck and I couldn't even exit out the game when I cut the game off because it was stuck that way I don't know what that was then one time uh, going across the uh, the bridge the guy's car uh, fell underneath the bridge and blew up or something and every time he beat the mission like, all the cars blow up except for yours so I don't know what that is so well yeah I guess you could again this is the weird part. I never thought that the new Mafia 3 would be better than the new Hitman. I don't like the new Hitman, by the way. It's alright, but it ain't like it ain't like Absolution. Absalon, or Absalon. Absolution was the better one. And if they put it in the PlayStation Store, we'll have to, we'll have to get it again, because it's rugged. We already beat it. Because it is, um... The new one is not that great. I can't see. I got like Mafia 3 better than the Hitman. Hey, I played the Hitman way more than that. War that came out for play PS3. This one stinks. It stinks. The whole thing stinks. And they spot you too easy and everything. Even if you're hidden, they already know. They already know. Know you're in there. Come on out of there. Come on out. Mafia 3 is it's, it's a good game. Now the fourth one, that's probably that's probably not coming out for until PS5, which is gonna be sickening. But if it was good, <coughs> I liked it a lot. Mafia 3. It's a good game. 